Today's episode, testing chain coins and gambeson on a ballistic gel head. Brought to you by Medieval Shop Australia. Hey, Thryant here. And we have a very special test for you today. Uh, a lot of people are wanting to see it. Uh, they want to see what just mail and padding does on the human head. Since we have uh, analog heads, our uh, Evo or the Drago heads, they're very close to actual uh, human heads or even actually harder. We thought this would be a good test just to see, you know, what would happen. We're here featuring the uh, Medieval Shop uh, chain mail, as it says in his catalog. I would just call it mail or chain myself. Uh, uh, coin. It's a 9mm or it looks like 5 16 inch ring, maybe a hair larger, probably 5 16 inch ring from my nail making days. Uh, and it's very well budded. Uh, this is zinc coated so it's not going to rust on you. It's good for reenactment. Uh, are we saying that people wore this historically? Now, this is usually what people thrust through in a lot of videos. Um, show how weak it was, but they usually don't back it with proper canvas. We've got a proper army cap from uh, uh, Medieval Shop as well. A black army cap, which we can know that before by itself and with helms, younger. Uh, and we've got extra padding around the neck. We have like a basic bourget like they would have. That's why their neck looks so fat in a lot of the old drawings, their head looks so huge. It's because when they were just wearing a small spanking helm on top and the sides were exposed, they were relying on this to protect them if something got in. That was to keep them from getting decapitated or, uh, or seriously injured. With enough padding around the neck and a proper uh, uh, protection underneath, even just the chain of the males, my belief that possibly that will protect you. We're going to find that out today. We're going to test it out, uh, throw some blows like you might take in battle while you're throwing these changes. You know, we're not going to come out here and jump up in the air and fly down and, you know, throw like Hulk or something. We're just going to throw actual cuts like we're trying to, to wound to kill in battle and see what happens. Because what if the man got caught without his, his top on? That happens. They got tired, they would take off the, 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 the helmet. Uh, we see drawings, depictions of sometimes them not wearing their, their helm while they're in combat and all they have is their, their coin. But we wanted to put it through an extreme test. Because if you're going to wear this in some light reenactment, uh, you know, I wouldn't use it against real steel, you know, trying you know, to survive or something. But using this in reenactment was designed for, and it's a good affordable price, and it's a beautiful uh, mantle with a nice wide, uh, wide uh, reach from shoulder to shoulder. It actually hangs over the end of your shoulder. Um, it's, it's a good deal. But uh, I just want to really seriously test it instead of just coming out here and hitting it with some reenactment stuff and seeing what it does. So you know how we are, we, we go to the extreme. So let's get going here. Oh. Did not go through the mail and it doesn't appear to have injured the head. And that was a pretty decent blow. Let's try a little more power. The rings are staying intact. The head seems to be good. Let's try maybe a little bit harder. Oh. I actually felt that in my wrist. The head is still intact and not injured. Now, am I saying this wouldn't knock you out? Maybe not, but we're not getting a skull wound. We're not getting blood out. This could probably still kill you if you had a strong enough blow to the head. But would it stop a sword? That's what we want to know. Would it stop the edge? And how well is this holding up? This is amazing. This is butted mail. We have one, looks like it might be a little unbended there. We can bend it right back. Let's go ahead and try the decap. Everybody knows what happens when we decap this. So let's try and see what happens. Oh. Doesn't look like any damage to the mail and no cut. Let's try a light thrust. We'll try that. Oh. Well, when I actually hit the padding where he's at, no damage whatsoever. If you ask me, the mail held up very well. I think it's a very good coin. I would highly recommend it. Even though it's plotted. Uh, what it just with, withstood would be medieval grade uh, stuff you could run into. Could you get more power possibly with different weapons and stuff? Yes. You know, if we hit it with a big club or mace, yes. Maybe do more damage to it, but the amount of energy it absorbed is, is amazing to me. Alright, let's check this out and see what kind of damage our head took. Our coif, uh, the only thing that kind of bent a rig slightly was a thrusting. Well, with the cloth armor we have under it and as many layers and the give it has, I mean, I don't think I could have thrusted through it anyway. 
that way. And unless there was no give and the target was moving towards me and all that kind of thing, maybe. But I'm not seeing hardly any damage to this koi. Uh, certainly did some damage to the edge of the sword too lightly. I'm going to have to retouch it up. But uh, it held up even though it's flooded. You know, later century, we do know in the 19th century, or you know, early uh, you know, 1800s and stuff, they actually uh, made some in with other pieces and stuff like that. The Japanese used a lot of butted nails. So, I mean, we always put it down, but uh, it's not a bad thing if it's back with proper uh, gambeson and padding. So let's check out this head and see what we've got here. See how we did with it. This was my Bourget, Paul Bourget. But our makeshift. I don't see any data. He has a hematoma right here. And it's because of our bone structure, the way we made it. Uh, I, I should say his head split up and he might have been bleeding underneath it. That, that would have been bad. But I don't see any blood coming out from the actual skull, so that means the skull was not uh, fractured. Now, whether he would have been knocked out in a temple blow or something is something else, but he probably would have a helmet around here, possibly other pieces to the helmet at the end of the time period. Other than that, I mean, he's fine. You've seen what happens when we decap these, so we clean, clean cut through with just a blow like that, at least all the way to the spine, halfway through it. Through. And the head we definitely would make it through the skull with that sword. It makes it through so easy it's unbelievable. I am impressed. Now Eagle Shop, you have done well again, and if y'all want the arming cap, he has that as well. This is the black, he has them in different colors. I just added some extra pieces. It's excellent. I think it would stand up well to light reenactment fighting. Uh, and usually around the neck, you don't get hit in that area anyway. Let's say you were at an SCA practice and you were wearing this as, uh, under your helmet or something. Uh, usually their neck's not on the target. So they get performed very well. If you enjoyed this video and others, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Thang Thran. Find us on Facebook at Thran and Elgrim's Well of Remembrance. Be sure to ask to join our closed group, that's the Thane Brand YouTube Boat Crew. You can help improve our content with donations at www.patreon.com slash brand. Thank you for watching and farewell.